Meet Wangari Mathai. Back in the 1970s, a biologist visits her home valley in rural Kenya. She finds the women lack firewood and water for cooking. She remembers her childhood days. Hills were covered with forests. Creeks were running. Then trees were chopped down and replaced with farmlands. The ecosystem was badly shaken. Wangari Mathai makes up a plan. She will plant trees to protect the soils from erosion and the waterways from drying out. Recreation of mountainous regions will profit the whole country. Her peers at the National Council of Women of Kenya embrace this mission. The Green Belt Movement is born. Dignitaries and VIPs support the movement, planting trees. In 1998, a protected public forest in the heart of Nairobi is being raised. Wangari Mathai is outraged. In Karura Forest, she and the woman from the Greenbelt find construction sites, set up on orders of President Moy. Over the mountains, they create public awareness. Other groups join in the protest, but Moy and his cronies won't give in, provoking a fierce standoff. Wangari is hit by a stone. In August 1999, President Moy gives in. The construction works are halted. The movement vows to restore the forest. To Wangari Mathai, to plant trees is to guarantee livelihoods. In 2004, she is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. In 2011, the whole world mourns her death. The Green Belt has become an international movement.